Yes. So we're going to start with vocabulary. Last time we discussed the idioms relating to money. Uh, so the next step is vocabulary. So we're going to jump on vocabulary page, page 168, to discuss the words relating to money. So here we can do it together. The first word is budget. The money that is available to a person or organization and a plan of how it will be spent over a period of time, like holiday budget, family budget, monthly budget, annual budget, so the amount of money that we plan to spend for something within a certain period of time. Money that is given by the government or another organization for a particular purpose, example, education. So give, receive, uh, what do you think? Like a scholarship, we say scholarship. There is another word for scholarship, Amina. Donation, maybe? No, no, we say grant. Grant, grant yeah, we say grant. Government grant, huh? government grant. Money that a bank lends and somebody borrows, take out a, uh, that would be loan, yeah? Loan. Number four, what do you think number four, Amina? Fee. Fee, yes, fee. That's correct. As amount of amount of money that we ask for our service or advice. So a uh, lawyer fee, charge a fee, pay a fee, mm -hmm. or education fee, for example, fee educational. For example, I'm charging you for teaching. So that's a fee. Uh, we say tuition fee, yeah? Tuition fee. So number five, the money that you pay to travel by bus, by plane, taxi, etc. Pay a fare, fare, ticket, hey. yeah, fare. Hey. Yes, fare is the money that we pay for traveling. Ticket fare, plane fare, flight fare. Mm -hmm. We also say ticket. A statement of how much money a particular piece of work will cost. So ask for a... Uh-huh. Quote, yes. A statement of how much money a particular piece of work will cost. Uh, it will be quote, guys. <clears throat> Can you give me a quote? We say, yeah, in business. Can you give me a quote? Like, how much do you want from me for this job, for this project? You know, quote. Money that you give to an organization such as a charity in order to help them. This is donation. Make a donation. The verb is donate, obviously. Donate. Money paid as punishment for breaking a law or a rule. That is fine. Pay a fine. Pay a fine. And one of a number of payments that are made regularly until something has been paid. This is installment. You can pay something in, you know, partial payments. So installment, pay in installment. The first part of a larger payment, first part of a larger payment, this is deposit. Make a deposit or pay a deposit. Deposit. When you want to buy a house, usually you have to pay a deposit. Maybe like 20% of it, 30% of it, deposit. And then you will pay in installments. A legal document that says what's to happen to somebody's money and property after they die. This is will. Will. Will, it means wasia. Wasiat, norma. Wasia. Will. An amount of money that is paid at one time and not on separate occasions. You pay in a big amount, just like one time. Lump sum. Lump sum. Lump sum. I want to pay in lump sum. How is that good? 5.9. We can double check. Let me just uh, play. 5.9. 1. Budget. Mm -hmm. 2. Grant. 3. Loan. 4. Fee. 5. Fair. 6. Quote, seven, 
Donation. Eight. Fine. Nine. Installment. Ten. Deposit. Eleven. Will. Twelve. Lump sum. Okay, is it clear? Students, good. Can we move to the next one? Yes. Mm -hmm. Great. So, money in today's society. Money in today's society. So, here, uh, the meaning of it, like, we live in a consumer society which is dominated by spending money on material possessions. Amina, did you understand this statement? The first one. What does it mean? Consumer society. Like, mm -hmm. uh, it's like everything is uh, related to money. Yes, yes. Consuming, buying something. Everything is about, look, which is dominated. That, that society that we live in, dominated by spending money on material positions. We spend, we buy, we spend, we spend, we spend. I want to buy this, I want to buy this. Everything is business, you know? Everything is business, money-related or money-connected things. Consumer society. So we buy a lot. We buy a lot, whether we need or we buy. This is consumer society. Consumer society. For example, in village areas, you will see a very less form of consumer society in village in village area, they're mostly based on self-sustenance. Like they make this, you know, they try to make everything themselves. Agriculture and then, you know, meat, dairy products and fruit. Uh, or like people who live in mountains, for example. They're not consumer society. They're self-sustenance society. They try to make everything themselves. Not buying, but they create, they make it. But we who live in, you know, city areas, consumer society. So we buy, we don't make. The standard of living, standard of living in many European countries is lower than it was 10 years ago. Standard of living. Mrs. Walla, what does it mean, standard of living? I think the way people are living, uh, buying things... <coughs> Mm -hmm. uh, having looks for um, so you say like became, I think uh, like, so you like 10 years ago they're saying here they could be more they could buy more uh-huh uh-huh now maybe we can, can we uh, oh, they can't afford buying a lot of things uh-huh yeah so standard of living means how well and how they comfortable live. you live, yeah? Yes. How well and how comfortable you live. So right. if you live well and comfortably without too much problems money-wise, then standard of living is high. Yes, please, Mrs. Howe, you want to say something? You want to calculate mathematically? Formulas? No, <laughs> no but I think it's uh, straight of uh, CSC, I think it's... Can, can you do something with your microphone, please? Straight of uh, CST, I think. Straight what? Of CST, uh, I think. Ah. Uh, no, no, no. I mean, this is different. It's stra strata, you're talking about the status, social status. You're talking mm -hmm. about social status. Social status now there's a different thing for example social status is a tabaka like i mean yeah cleaners, and then teachers and then managers and then you know politicians and army leaders eh? that, mm -hmm. that kind of it's stuff mm -hmm. yeah but there's different standard of living the level of living yeah? the level of living or how well and comfortable you live for example in europe and america standard of living is much better than uh, for example, um, Indian India or like uh, some some African countries, uh, standard of living is much better. People can do, people can earn well, and they can they can work eight hours, and then that eight hours every day they work, and five days a week, and that is enough 
for monthly and they 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 save as well so that's like a good life you know because you work eight hours and then after that you have got time to go out somewhere to read something to do any other thing you know your life is not only work but for example uh, people like me i work a lot i work a lot because uh i have to work you know otherwise i cannot survive in, in, in turkey so i have to work and work so i feel like all my life is about work um but inshallah i will make a very change in it very soon right mm -hmm. standard of living is done uh, people's income has gone up but inflation is high so the cost of living has also risen people income income what is income mrs i Hawa? think is uh, salary is uh, crazy then yani price in a crazy in the same turkish now and yes exactly so income it means the money that you earn maybe a salary or maybe you got business so any money that comes to you or to your family that is income coming in coming in income maybe in money in, in money shape of money or shape of wealth or products inflation in arabic tadakhum uh, in uzbek language inflatia yeah. the decreasing the value of the money or currency and like increasing the prices very fast inflation cost of living rent the very basic needs the price of very basic needs it means cost of living like when i say like rent we need the rent we need the house rent and food we need food electricity water gas um, it's like very basic things how much if, if this cost money is increasing that means cost of living is increasing house prices are rising and people can't afford to buy a home can't afford it means they don't have money to buy to to do to buy something yeah they can't afford to buy a home it means they are not able to buy because they don't have money enough money to buy home online banking allows people to manage their accounts no everyone understands online banking so we don't need to go to bank too much uh, we just open the bank account uh, for applications and we can transfer we can make a lot of transactions we yeah. can see how much money we got yeah so, which is nice 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 feeling nice good a uh, nice uh, situation yeah you can check your balance how much money you got you know obviously libyans you got like big big numbers like six six like we call it six zero numbers you know six digit num uh, amount yeah make transfer you transfer and you make payments interest rate uh mrs wala can you read number six for me please hmm. okay miss wala is not here amina yes, number here, i'm here oh, you are there okay number six yes people uh people who have loans Loan. have to pay high interest rate what is uh, interest rate and i don't know maybe uh, extra money yeah this is uh we call it like fair is in arabic in Islam, they say it's not a good thing, right? Riba. Uh -huh. yeah. When you take a loan from the bank, you need to return that amount. Plus, you have to pay something extra on it. That's we call them interest rate. Because you use that money. So this is interest rate. Because money, a uh, bank doesn't give for free. Like you, you take the money and then you return the same amount of money. Now you have to return more of it. Okay, a lot of people are in debt. Debt, they make... That means they have to pay some money to someone. They owe, they owe some money and have problems getting a mortgage. Mortgage, loan to buy house. Mortgage is a loan to buy house. It's not that popular in developing countries or African countries, but in England, European countries, America, everything works by mortgage, buying house. You want to buy a house? Mortgage. Because... It, they're very expensive houses. Some people make money by buying and selling shares on stock market. 
share like every company big companies they have got the value of the company they divide into shares for example this one company two million dollars so they divide it into like 1000 shares and then they put it on stock exchange uh, we say uh, burs burs in uh, in arabic bursa. Bursa, bursa. yeah in uzbek language birja so that other people anyone you got money you can buy these shares that means you own some part of that public company and then whatever the profit the, that company made you get some profit from it that's why we call them shares currency um, 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 the, I see, the like dollar lira sum real uh fund sterlini this is currency our for example, turkish currency is lira is unstable like turkish lira is not stable and the exchange rates fluctuate a lot. Exchange rate is the rate that we use to change dollar into lira or lira into dollar or sum into ruble, ruble into lira. This is exchange rate. A lot of small businesses went bankrupt during the recession. Bankrupt, it means go out of business, close down banks, they close down. Recession economic crisis recession it means economic crisis recess recess it means stop the meaning of the recess it means stop of what you are doing like in, in english uh, in, in england school they don't say break they say recess so they're studying and then they stop and then they have some kind of time and then they continue so economic recess Recession means economy stops, doesn't grow, no growth. Um, but, but in general terms, economic crisis, a problem. No jobs, uh, no production, no money. Uh, people, they don't want to, whatever they've got, they don't want to spend it. They want to keep it because there's a problem, uh, a huge problem. Yeah. So in this time, businesses, they go out of business because they cannot sell anything. Okay, is it clear? Students, do you have any questions? Amina, Mrs. Wala, Mrs. Hawa? No. Good, okay, so we can move to the next one. Let's check. Huh. Okay, so let's pray Maghrib. So Maghrib came now. So we're going to have 10 minutes praying time. And then inshallah, we'll continue with the rest of it, okay? So break time, thank you. Okay, let's continue. Amina, are you ready? Yes. Okay, Mrs. Hawa, Mrs. Wala. Number three, adjectives. So we took the nouns and we took some phrases, you know, social phrases. And now adjectives. Rich and poor. Entries for rich and poor match the synonyms and definitions. All of these words, look, rich affluent loaded wealthy well off the his means rich poor broke hard up penniless that means poor but different uh, register like formal street language eh? that kind of stuff so rich and wealthy having a lot of money property or valuable possessions <clears throat> rather formal very formal this is affluent. We call it affluent. Affluent. Rich and with a good standard of living. The affluent Western countries are better equipped to face the problems of global warming. Uh, often used in negative sentences, a rich, his parents are not very uh, well off well off they're not very well off that this word comes with usually negative sentences um, not before noun very informal very informal we say loaded she is loaded let's uh, let her pay she is loaded i am loaded he is loaded a lot of money a lot of money okay now five Having very little money, not having enough money for basic needs. This is poor. 
It is poor. Uh -huh. Poor. Literary meaning, using, you know, for literature and stuff. Having no money, very poor. She arrived in 1978 as a virtually penniless, penniless, penniless uh, thing. Refugee. Refugee, it means uh, multaji, kochok. Virtually refugee, penniless refugee. Uh, we don't use before noun, so informal, having no money. I'm always broke. I'm always broke by the end of the month. Informal, having very little money, especially for a short period of time. After he lost his job, he was so hard up, hard up. So broke and hard up is uh, informal, informal guys, yeah? So yeah, let's double check to be on safe side. 5.11, three adjectives, one rich. Wealthy. Two. Affluent. Three. Well off. Four. Loaded. Five. Poor. Six. Penniless. Seven. Broke. Mm -hmm. Eight. Hard up. Amina, from this, how many words are new for you? From adjectives. Four. Which ones did you learn today? Affluent. Uh huh. Affluent. Loaded. Uh huh. Penniless and uh -huh. hard up. Hard up. Okay, very good. And uh, Mrs. Hawa, what about you? Hello, and uh, well, please. Wealthy. Wealthy, uh huh. Wealthy. Mm -hmm. And uh, penniless. Penniless. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mrs. Howard, if you give me your address, I would buy a microphone and send to your address online. How is that? <laughs> it's very slowly. This is much better now, yes. Okay. I uh -huh. don't know. Okay. Okay. Yes, Mrs. Walla, any new words you are collecting? Yes, well off, uh, well penniless. Off. penniless, maybe hard up. Hard up, okay, very good. So the last part, colloquial language. Colloquial, it means like people who, li only English people, they use it in their own neighborhood. Colloquial, shabby, we call it, yeah? shabby. Kuchatele, colloquial. Slang words. So we're going to learn slang words. So, five grand. Grand, it means thousand, guys. Five grand, it means one thousand. Nice car, how much are you going to ask for? Five grand, so five thousand. Grand, it means one thousand, guys. I need five bucks, dollars. Dollar, we say buck. Five bucks for the subway. Five bucks. But it's only for... You know, street language, guys. We should not use that, really, as educated people. Five quid. This is pound. Uh, in English, uh, five quid, a quid, three quid, five pounds. You don't say five pounds, it's a quid. And 5K, this is also 1,000. 1,000. Uh, can I borrow 20 pounds? Sorry, I only got a fiver or tinner. It means five pounds. You know, five pounds or ten pounds, fiver or tenner. Okay. That's it. Now we can move to uh, main page. Main page. Yes. So uh, I need your help before we do this reading. Uh, exercise C as well. Looking at the meaning uh, and collocation, huh? collocation or register as a formal or informal. Which one is good? Mrs. Walla, number one, what do you think? Mom, can you lend me some money? Shall I say I'm broke or I'm penniless? I think I'm broke. Yes, I'm broke. Penniless, we use for like literary meaning, literature, you said, yeah? Yeah. I'm broke. Yes. Amina, what is number two, do you think? I'm trying to get 
a mortgage from the bank to buy a car. But mortgage, mortgage, didn't we say that it's a loan to buy a house? So loan, loan is correct, okay? Uh, mortgage, okay. yeah, mortgage is silent, T is silent, Amina. So mortgage is ipatika credit. Do you know ipatika as a credit or as a loan to yeah. buy a house? Okay, mortgage. Yes, Mrs. Hawa. Hello, where's Miss Hawa? Yes. Number three. Mm -hmm. In the black. So we are going to have to be very careful this month if we don't want to end up in, in, the, black. in the red. That is, if you remember last time we discussed oh. this problem. Mm -hmm, okay. Problem. That means you, you owe from bank. So uh, if we don't want to end up in the red. Okay. Yes. Yep. Mrs. Walla? Uh, yes. He took part of his pension as a lump sum. As a lump sum, that's correct, yes. Big amount of my lump sum. Yes. Amina? One of my cousins is absolutely loaded. She inherited a fortune from her parents. Yes, loaded. Cousins, huh? Cousins. Not cousins, cousins. Loaded. It's a normal language, so we don't say affluent. Affluent is a formal word. Mrs. Hawa, number six. Yeah. Exchange rate, yeah, exchange rate, yes, that's correct. Mrs. Walla? We like living here because we have a much better standard of living. Yes, much better standard of living. Yes, Amina, number eight, last one. Is breakfast included in the price of the room? No, sir, it's 12 pounds extra. Yes, 12 pounds extra, because this is, you know, hotel discussion. Uh, so we're going to use a normal common word, not the colloquial one, pounds.